Hello Year 4, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Welcome back to another English lesson with Miss Forehan. Please write down the long date, Wednesday 15th of July 2020 and the title, Fact and Opinion Quiz. Now we've finished our topics for this year, so now we're just going to be doing some recap and going through some quizzes so that we can really consolidate our learning and make sure that we're secure in what we've learned. So who remembers what we mean when we say fact and opinion? So pause and have a think. Good job everyone. So fact is an information that is true, it's known to be true, it can be proven to be true. However, the opinion is of obviously the opposite of that so it can't be proven to be true it's just a personal opi personal opinion a personal preference and a personal belief so can you come up with one fact and one opinion so I'll go first so fact can be my name is Miss Forehan so we all know that's true and it, an opinion is purple is the best colour now, of course, that's just my preference. For example, your favourite um, colour could be red. So that's why this is an, an opinion. So I just want you to pause and tell an adult an example of a fact and an example of an opinion. Well done, everyone. And you can write these down and then take a picture and show me. And if you're still confused about what a fact and opinion is, you can go through our year four playlist because we've gone through this lesson before. Excellent. So before we get started, we're going to go through our spelling. So I hope you've all revised the words and gone and looked through a dictionary for the definitions if you were unsure of some of the meanings of the words. So let's get started. Okay, so the first word is woman. Now this is a singular version. So she is a lovely woman. Second word is women. So this is the plural. Those women, women were really nice. Third word is occasionally. I will occasionally eat chocolate. So occasionally means sometimes. Next word is quarter. 25 years is a quarter of a century. And the last word is various. There are various ways that we can help protect bees from becoming extinct. Good job, everyone. So I'm going to read out the words one more time. So take a look through them and make sure you've written them down correctly. Women, women, occasionally quarter and various. Excellent everyone, now let's go through the spelling. Okay, so just check your words now and mark it. So how many did you get right out of five? Now if you got some of them wrong, you can just write it out a few times and practice it. Now this is going to be our last spelling test, so there's not going to be any spelling for the following weeks, but that's okay because you can still go on spelling frame and practice your spellings and play some games and quizzes. So well done everyone for all of your hard work. Now we're going to be going through our quiz. So fact and opinion. So Fact and opinion is the difference between statement, so the fact is a statement, and belief, so that is the opinion. It is important to know the difference between fact and opinion, especially when you are writing and reading a newspaper, writing a report, or perhaps researching a topic that interests you. So when we were researching our topic on bees, what did we include? Facts or opinion? We included facts, well done, because it was an information text. An opinion expresses a belief or a feeling about something, while a fact is a statement that can be proved true with evidence. 
almost everyone has an opinion on something, but that doesn't mean what they say is factually correct or true. If you can't verify it for yourself, then don't take it at face value. Now let's see if you can tell the difference by trying this fact and opinion quiz. So take a look at this picture. Strawberries are the tastiest food, a fruit. Is this fact or opinion? This is opinion because you could prefer pineapples or apples. So this is just a personal preference. Okay, so this quiz is out of 10 questions. And I want you to all to be writing this down. So let's get started. Which one of the following is a fact? Mondays are boring. How old are you? The moon is beautiful. And a sundial uses the position of the sun to show the time of day. So you can pause the section and write down your answer. Excellent. So the correct answer was a sundial uses the position of the sun to show the time of day. So a description of sundials is a factual statement. So for example, if we said sundials are attractive but not very useful, this would be an opinion. So Mondays are boring opinion, the moon is beautiful opinion, and how old are you is a question. Well done if you got that correct. So you can either tick your work or correct it with a purple pen. The second question, which of these is not an opinion? She said that her favourite colour is red. Purple is a much nicer colour than red. Purple flowers look the most delicate in the garden. Red cars are too flashy. So what does it mean when it says which one of these is not an opinion? That means we're looking for which one is a fact. So which one of these is a fact? So pause and have a think and you can write this down. Excellent work. Now let's go through the answer. So the answer is, she said that her favourite colour is red. So someone's feelings about the colour red, there's an opinion, but whether she stated the opinion is either true or false. Therefore, she said that her favourite colour is red is a factual statement because she didn't say my favorite color is red someone said that their favorite color is red so and this is talking in third person so they're just saying she said that her favorite color is red so they're just relaying what that person said so it's a fact this is what they said well done okay I'm not quite sure why this has jumped all the way to question five so it's okay if you put up a question too but let's just go back to the top again. It doesn't matter which order you did your questions in. So let's go through this. Which one of the following expresses an opinion? Is it Friday today? My cousin's name is Edward. Hot chocolate is delicious and stop shouting. So the opinion is hot chocolate is, um, is delicious. Some people might think hot chocolate is delicious but you may think it's disgusting. And let's go through this. So we already went through this. Now, question three. Which one of the following is a factual statement? Canada has two official languages, English and French. French is more difficult to learn than English is. Can you speak French? And French is easy to learn. Just take your time to write this down. And the correct answer is... Canada has two official languages, English and French. So you can check this to see if it's true. So they speak French usually in Quebec, so in Montreal and Quebec. Well done. Okay, which of these is not a fact? The Houses of Parliament were destroyed by fire in 1834. 
Westminster Hall was saved from the 1834 fire, the Jewel Tower also survived the fire, and the rebuilt Houses of Parliament were not as well designed as the buildings which burnt down. So what this question is really asking is which one of these is an opinion? So they tried to trick you over there. So the correct answer is the last one. So next time you are listening to someone, see if you can determine the facts from the opinions. So we've already completed this question. Question six, which one of the following is not an opinion? My sister is not very good at sports. What time is it? Cats make the best pets. Mountain climbing is an exciting activity. So let's see which one is not an opinion. The second one, so a question cannot be an opinion. A question can, however, be asking for a factual statement or an opinion as an answer. So what time is it? When you ask this, it requires a factual answer. Question 7. Which one of the following is an opinion? Liverpool beat Manchester United last night. Rugby is more enjoyable than football. A try in rugby is worth 5 points. And the first match of the season was two weeks ago. So pause and write it down. The correct answer is rugby, rugby is more enjoyable than football. So Liverpool beat Manchester United last night. It may not be true today, but it is not an opinion. And rugby is more enjoyable than football. For example, your favourite sports could be football or it could be tennis. So that's why this is an opinion. Which one of the following is not a fact? Joe is wearing a blue shirt today. Joe looks good in blue. Blue is a primary colour and we have run out of blue. So what this is really asking is which one is an opinion? Joe looks good in blue. You might think Joe looks good in blue, but Joe might disagree. Ninth question. Which of the following expresses an opinion? The gallery is free to enter. John Piper was a British artist. John Piper's best work is Ramondum, Nor Norfolk. And do you enjoy visiting art galleries? So pause and have a think. So the correct answer is the third one. And the last question, let's just refresh this page. Okay. So John Piper's best work, this is an opinion. Let's see which one, which questions that we haven't completed yet. Okay, so every time you refresh this pages, the questions they're just in different orders, but that's okay. So, cust um, which one of the following is not a factual statement? Custard is made of sugar, milk, sugar, milk or cream, and egg yolks. Custard will curdle if it's boiled after if it is boiled after the eggs are added. After you have made a custard, it is possible to use the spare egg whites for meringues and Custard goes well with tarts. So which one of these is not a fact? The correct answer is custard goes well with tarts because that's just an opinion 
and someone could think that custard goes well with apple crumble. Now, double check your answers. It doesn't matter which order you did them in, but just make sure that you had 10 questions altogether and see how many you got correct. Well done everyone and see you tomorrow in our next lesson.